Okay, this is uh, the first lesson for week three. So this is 3.1, and it's going to be over a continuous line sketch. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to need to write our title on our paper. Okay, continuous line sketch. Now we are going to need to find a picture to draw. I'm going to be doing two pictures for some examples. This one and also this one of this really cool butterfly moth thing. Now what makes this so different from doing regular drawing is that you can only put your pencil down once and you don't pick it back up. And if you think about it, you pick your pencil up a lot when you draw probably. And you may not notice it until you do this and you realize how much you actually do pick up your pencil. So you're going to have to evaluate this and figure out how you're going to make all the lines in here. Now your lines include like the edge of her, okay, so the boundary lines of your object, the contour lines, but it also is going to involve like the lines that go across here for her, for her dress, the lines for this part of her dress around her neck, her eyes, her foot that sticks out here, all these different things. Some of the creases on her dress through here, the folds. So you have to think about how can I get all these lines in here without picking my pencil up. Now, here's a couple of rules. You can go back over your own lines. That's okay. Don't worry about that. That's what makes the drawing look cool. And it's not going to look exactly perfect. So let's go ahead and do this and we'll see how this one turns out. We'll try to do this with a camera right in front of my face. So I'm gonna start up here because I'm gonna do two, but you can take up your whole page in your sketchbook for your home lessons area. Okay, so I'm gonna start with her flower on her head. Go up. Now as you're drawing this, try to keep up with the image as you're seeing the image. So as you're processing this image in your head, I'm going to go back over her head a little bit again to fix some of that. I'm still not picking up my pencil. some of the folds in her dress here. I'm going to come back out here and put her foot out here. And I think that's it. Okay, so there's one. Her head is a bit small, but that's okay. Let's try this one. Okay, and you notice I didn't pick up, well I did at the very, very beginning if y'all caught me, but other than that, I did not pick my pencil up. So let's try this butterfly real quick, and I'm going to do it down here. All right, so I'll start at his head with his eyes. See, I'm going back and forth over my lines. That is okay. I'm going to come out this way. I'm going to go ahead and kind of get him all shaped in here. Then I'm going to come back so let me do some of these lines now for his wing come here and do that edge part come down here these are just a bunch of radiating lines from the middle that edge to it. It's got some places here and I'm going to draw them as I see them. Some of these dark areas. Okay, come up this way. There's another one. So I'm, ex I'm really having to 
evaluate my lines here really carefully. And you notice how it's kind of messy? That's fine. Go back up here and get his, I'll get him some antennas. All right, I think that's good. Okay, so there's my continuous line sketch of this moth butterfly and one of the lady. So remember, it's going to look messy. It's not going to look perfect. But it looks cool now, right? Because of these weird lines I got in these sections. It actually makes the drawing look kind of cool. My lady, eh, she looks pretty ugly. That one didn't turn out near as good as my butterfly, I don't think. So you can try one, or you can try two, you can try four, you can divide your paper up into several places, you can try four different ones. You can try something really simple like a cup, you can get something in real life, or you can get a picture. Do not use your Lucida app for this, right? That would kind of defeat the purpose. So this, this one specifically, don't use your app to draw these, okay? Because we're just looking, this is almost like an observational sketch. We're really drawing a lot of observation skills on here. So if you use your app and trace it, you're really going to kind of avoid using your skills on this. So, all right, so good luck on this and go ahead and move on to your next videos. You have several line drawing videos to do this week, so move on to your next one. Bye.